This is Pastor Rodney. This morning I want to talk to you on the topic, Who do you represent? Who do you represent? You know, in this day and time, we have so many people taking a stance on their affiliations. There are many people that when you look at their timelines on their Facebook pages or social network pages, you find so many things that identify and magnifies their color, that magnifies their political affiliations, that magnifies their beauty or their financial uh, capabilities. But people of God, I want to ask you today, who should you represent? The word of the Lord tells us that we are to look unto Jesus, who is the author and finisher of our faith, who for the joy that was set before him, he endured the cross, despised the shame, and now has sat down at the right hand of the Father. It is important for us in this day and time, more now than ever before, that we take a stand for Christ. Our lives should be reflective of Him. Now, it does not say that things are not wrong and things should not be fixed. However, if all we know about you is your color, or your background, or your affiliations, but we don't know about Christ, the Word of God tells us if our gospel be hidden, it is hidden to the ones who are lost, in whom the God of this world has blinded their minds, lest they would see the glorious light and be converted. Now the gospel that he spoke of was not the gospel of Rodney or the gospel of you, but it's the gospel of Christ. And how for God so loved the world, this messed up, crazy, chaotic world. God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. That whosoever would believe in him should not perish, but shall have everlasting life. You know, it reminds me of what Paul told the church in Philippi. He says, let nothing be done through selfish ambition or conceit, but in lowliness of mind, let each esteem others better than himself. Let each of you look out not only on your own interests, but on the interests of others. And what's going on in this world, people of God, is we have souls that are tainted by sin, destroyed by sin, and sin has what allowed has, has what allowed for hatred to come out. It is sin that has allowed for division to be. And we, the people of God, know that we do not wrestle against flesh and blood but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this age, against spiritual wickedness in high places. So who do you represent? Today, I want to remind you to represent Christ. For God foretold us all these things would happen. But then he tells us, that we all must repent or we shall all likewise be caught up in it. So may the Lord forgive us for not representing him well, but for those of us who are representing him, keep representing him. Today's message is not about us being better about us, but it's about us doing better for someone else. So this morning, as you think about what you can do to help 
your fellow man. Why don't you pause, reflect, and then you'll be able to emerge to life in Jesus' name. God bless you.